Elephant Tantrum by Gillian Shields and Callie Johnson Isaac. Mind your manners, elephant style. Ellie had everything, but she wanted more. She wanted an elephant. She wouldn't eat or sleep or brush her hair. She wouldn't smile or play or do her lessons. She wouldn't even get out of her bed until she got what she wanted. Please get up, Ellie's dad said. No, she replied. Not until you get me an elephant. Hmm. Can you see some of the toys in Ellie's room? Can you name any of them? Brilliant. Ellie's father went to his big fancy office. He wrote letters and made phone calls. He worked and worried and fussed and fretted until... Yep, you guessed it. An elephant arrived for Ellie. Yay! Ellie jumped up and down with excitement. She couldn't wait to boss her new elephant around. Come here, elephant, she said. Give me a ride, do a trick, pick up my toys. The elephant wrapped his trunk around Ellie's waist and lifted her up. Oh, said Ellie, put me down. But the elephant took a good long look at her and then... Then he dropped her on the floor. Ouch, said Ellie. She had a terrible tantrum. I don't want an elephant, she shouted. Get me a different one. But it's an extraordinary elephant, said Ellie's father wisely. I think it's just the one you need, Ellie. <coughs> so the elephant stayed and made himself a home. He slept in Ellie's bed. He wore Ellie's best clothes. He ate her breakfast. And he even played with all of her toys and didn't share. But they're mine, Ellie held. The elephant took no notice. <laughs> he even went to school and sat in Ellie's place and played with Ellie's friends. Go away, Ellie ordered. But the elephant ignored her. Now the elephant had everything. Ellie even had to make his sandwiches. And clean his boots. One, two, three, four. And fold his handkerchiefs. He didn't even say, please or thank you. And Ellie didn't like it. And if Ellie didn't do exactly what he wanted... Ellie started to cry. The elephant passed her handkerchief. Thank you, said Ellie. It was the first time she'd ever said thank you. Then Ellie said, Please, please, can I have my things back? Why don't you share them? said the elephant. All right, said Ellie. All right, I will, she said a little bit more happier. Let, let's share. And she stopped to cry. Elephant said, it's okay to cry when you're sad. 
So they played together and it was brilliant. They played lots of fun games. And when they went to school, Ellie said, Would you please give my friends a ride in the playground? Of course, said the elephant. Th thank you, said Ellie. They even took turns. Even Ellie. It was so fun. It was extraordinary. See Ellie's friends here all going to take a turn. One, two, three, four. And Ellie was five. My turn. Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. It's my turn. They all got a turn on Ellie's elephant. That night, Ellie said, I hope you'll stay forever. I can't, said the elephant gently. There's other children who need me too. You'll have to share me. Ellie didn't scream or shout or have a tantrum. I understand, she said. And when she woke up, the elephant had gone. Almost. <laughs>